Hello there, existing Descript customers. I have something I'm really excited to share with you today. And I know you're gonna be excited too because this uh, is right up here at the top of our feature request board, redesigns of things, whatever they are, just redesign them. Um, sorry, that was probably a bad joke, but really I think you're gonna like this one. I like it a lot. I'm personally invested in it. So if you don't like it, I wanna know if you don't like it, but I also really want you to like it. I think you're gonna like it. Okay, so right now we are looking at a version of Descript as it exists today. And now I'm gonna switch over here and this is what's new. So again, before, after. Um, we're calling this the new timeline. Um, it's really just a new collapsed version of the timeline. You can still expand it and see the full version. And it replaces this scene rail that was over on the left here. Um, so I just wanna go through and break down what I'm so excited about with this. There's like 10 or 11 things that I think are really cool about this new timeline that we've put together. Number one, scene thumbnails in the script. Now, whenever you have a new scene, instead of just seeing this slash icon in the script, you see a thumbnail of the scene. I'm leading with this one, both because it's one of the biggest visual changes, but also because for me at least, it's one of the nicest improvements to using Descript. It just makes it so much easier to scan through your video. Number two, we've added this split button. Just press the button and we'll split your video into scenes, or if you're in the timeline, you can use this to split any layer. I know this might seem like the world's least remarkable innovation, but it's kind of a big deal for a couple of reasons. First, it makes scenes way more discoverable. Scenes are one of the most powerful and essential features in Descript, but until now they've been completely hidden. Like unless you watch a tutorial video, how would you ever figure out that you type a slash to divide your video into scenes? Second, this replaces this old timeline toolbar. And don't worry, if you love that toolbar, you can still bring it back in the settings over here. But for most people, this toolbar is a nightmare of complexity. It was originally inspired by really pro level video tools and we see people getting tripped up on it all the time, just unwittingly getting in the wrong mode, all kinds of problems. And honestly, for most workflows, this split tool is all you need. It's just as speedy. Number three, it's way easier to add empty scenes. Want to add an intro? No problem. Just click here to add a scene or you can even drag a file into this timeline. Want to insert a section title in between these two scenes? Also very easy and uh, you can just drag to change the length of these scenes. Number four, better control over the space in between words. It feels so much better doing this in the timeline than the script. Uh, you can now just use the word bar to easily spot when there are long pauses in your video and then extend or trim them. Number five, the active layer control. So this is really cool. When you select a layer in the canvas, you'll actually see it show up down here in the timeline. This is great, for example, like if you want to change a title to animate in partway through a scene, or you want to change a caption layer so that it appears across multiple scenes, stuff like that, much easier. Number six, slipping is way better. What is slipping? So slipping is the term we use to talk about repositioning a clip that's longer than the scene. So like, for example, you've added this 20 second stock video and the scene is only five seconds long and you wanna kind of like figure out where it fits. Uh, you can do that just by dragging from outside of the active layer now, really cool. Number eight, a better place to edit transitions. Now you can edit transitions between scenes, both from the script, as well as by clicking on the boundary between scenes. Number nine is that we finally added what we call this uh, thumbnail film strip to the timeline, just repeating thumbnails, which make it much more useful when you're trying to navigate. And last but not least, at number 10, working with scriptless media. So Descript has always been very focused on speech-driven video, but now works just as well in video that doesn't have any speech. If you wanna to edit together your safari vacation or your ski trip, just hide the script view and you've got something that feels like a really simple, familiar clip-based editor. So that's the new timeline. It's available now, but it's not on by default for you. Probably you have to go into uh, the app settings and then in the lab section, you'll see how you can turn this on. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. We're still adding some polish over the next couple of weeks before we make this the default for everyone, um, but pretty excited about it. Hope you're excited about it too. Thanks.